Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Right now, the question we're answering is what's in the box in regards to this. This is Rail Pass, a cooperative, somewhat dexterity-based, real-time train game. That's right, this is a pick-up-and-deliver train game where you're going to literally load a train, pick it up, and deliver it to the other players by passing trains back and forth. Uh, this is from Mercury Games, and I do have to thank Mercury Games for sending me a review copy of this game. Now, I have not played this game. I do have a vague idea of how it's played, but I have also not seen the components in this game in person, so you're going to get to see what's in the box at the same time I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shrink wrap on this, I'm going to throw it down on the table, tilt the camera down, and then we'll take a look at what's in the box for Rail Pass from Mercury Games. For one, I will say right now that is a way bigger box than I thought it was, just looking at the image. Alright, so here you go. Here is Rail Pass. We're cracking this box open for the very first time. That wasn't too bad. All right, we start right off with the instructions right on top. So it's a rather thin book. I'm kind of surprised by the size of this. So you have a rather thin book um, showing off all the components though. So big bonus right there. I love any rule set that comes with a full component list showing you pictures of absolutely everything. So it's worth noting there is some assembly to be done, putting together at least a cardboard bridge before we get going to play this. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly flip through this book. Uh, we got some pretty small text in two columns. Um, Lots of examples here, though. I like this call-out showing the different player boards and what goes where. Wow, there's a lot of text in this. So for something you expect to be a quick game, a quick, easy game, there's a lot more going on here than you'd expect. This is probably the heaviest real-time, uh, somewhat dexterity-based game out there. We're looking at final scoring, things you can do that can go wrong. Um, using the route, there's an expert version, so there you go. And then there's different game setup configurations depending on the number of players. So it looks like even with only two players, you are using a total of all six cities, all six colors. So that's fascinating. Here's all the different train layouts for all the different, you know what, I'll throw these down here, for different player counts. So with two people, you're going to do that. So you are always using all six cities every game, it looks like, which is fascinating to see. All right, now we get into what you expect to find in most modern board games nowadays, cardboard punch boards. Uh, this is obviously the train bridge that needs to be assembled, as well as a bunch of arrows. Now, what these arrows are for is you're going to put them beside your player board to show which way is the closest way to deliver a good. So for you, if the closest way to deliver a green good is to your right, you're going to put it on the right of your player board. If it's to the left, you put it on the left of your player board. Then you also have tunnels. So another interesting dexterity element of this is when you're passing your train to someone else, between some of the players will be tunnels, and yes, you have to pass your train through these tunnels. And I'm just going to punch one of these. So pretty well punched, but it's some grabby cardboard, I will say, if that's a, if that's a real word. So we're going to take this. We're going to punch one of those. Okay, that came off a little easier. And we're going to put this together quickly. So here's a tunnel. Oh, except I dropped the piece. So here we have a tunnel, and I'm going to keep that out so I can pass myself a train under this. So these are um, obstacles, so these show routes between cities that aren't able, and then we have the player boards, surprisingly thin, okay, a little disappointed with these. Um, you got nice, thick, thick cardboard here, look, look, at, look at the thickness of that, nice, thick cardboard, player boards, flimsy. Gotta admit, I'm not a big fan when companies do that. Now, these just sit in front of you, you don't shuffle them, you don't play with them, you don't do anything, so I guess I get it. But here we have the player board. So this is the black city, yellow city, blue city, white city, red city, green city. So another disappointment right here is it doesn't look like they took into account any color blindness issues. By having a green and a red city in the same game and having so much green on these maps, that's a little bit of a dis disappointment. I would have definitely liked more colorblind friendly colors, especially because there's no symbols. Because I happen to know once we get in here, you got all kinds of wooden cubes. And while the wooden cubes are going to be, the oh, they're not wood, plastic cubes. Surprise. All right, but anyway, the fact that you have red and green cubes in the same game, I think they could have done better to get with different colors. Especially because this doesn't matter, it just represents a green good. Now this pack, I'm going to put aside for a minute. 
There are some stickers here. Um, all I know is that the stickers are for the advanced game, but I don't know the details of that. So you have a little sticker sheet, and I think they go on different parts of the player board, though I don't know where. And we have cubes, and like I just said, surprisingly, um, unfortunately I'm on a green screen, so all the green cubes are vanishing here. These are plastic, not wood, which I did not know. I just expected to have wooden cubes in this game. What I'm going to do is pick the green ones out of here. They're a good, pretty standard board game size cubes. Nice and shiny. Um, that does mean they're slippery, and part of this game is if you drop a cube, it is removed from the game and worth negative points at the end. So there are a whole bunch of cubes. I'm not going to count them offhand, but you have a bag full of plastic cubes. Then, uh, bonus points here. Thank you, Mercury Games, for including a Ziploc baggie. Putting stuff away. We have all this stuff. So, it looks like, I don't know if they're worried the trains were going to break, but each train is individually sealed here. I would hope they don't need to be resealed in those every game. What I am not going to bother doing is showing off every train because there are only two types. So you're going to have six long trains. Wow, those are heavy. So it's plastic, but it, it, it looks metal. It's a plastic train with a significant amount of weight to it. And then what you're going to do, which I should have kept some of these out, is place cubes on your train. See, if I had done that while playing, that cube would be removed from the game. You place the cubes on the train... And then you literally go toot toot and you pass it to the player next to you, which like we're going to go, oh see, terrible. We're going to go through here and pass to the next player and then this player is going to put it in their city. So you have the little train. So I'm going to leave this out because there's another part of this I want to show off. And here's the shorter train. So every city has two spots on it. The bottom spot holds the short train. Top spot can also hold the short train. But the top spot is the only place the big train will fit. You can't fit it in this bottom spot. There's like a line to show that off. So the last component here, which kind of look like golf tees, but they're smaller, are what we call the conductors. So I'm going to pull out a few of these. These are the conductors, and there are two in each, three, should be three in each player color. Yeah, there's three in each player color. Every train needs a conductor, which you actually peg into the top of the train like that. So we'll hold this over here. I'm not going to tip it. Oh, I put a green cube. I shouldn't have put green cubes. Silly me. Here you go. There's a train without green cubes. So uh, I'm going to spill these if I turn it. So here you have a conductor in a train. And that's it. That's all the components. I've got a ton more trains here. Look at them all. All these trains. Which, it's plastic. I can't see it breaking. I'm a little surprised by the, the amount of extra packaging material thrown in here just to protect these. Like, to the fact that when I play this, I'm probably going to insist people put them back in them, just in case. Though, I, that's not going to break. And it's not like it has little tiny antenna or anything. So I think they're just being overly cautious. So again, uh, this is a dexterity-based game. You have eight minutes to try to deliver goods to all the different cities and passing them to other players, including things like going under the tunnel. Which i got to just say, that is way harder now that I have a conductor in there. So that's it. That's Rail Pass. Um, it's everything you get with Rail Pass from Mercury Games. So I'm just going to put this stuff back in the box, and then I'll share some of my final thoughts. What are these made of? Okay, these are plastic too. It just feels... And it's a different type of plastic than the other pieces. Also worth noting, no discernible box insert. <clears throat> there we have put back together rail pass from mercury games all right there you have it what you get in the box for rail pass from mercury games a rather unique looking pick up and deliver game where you're literally going to pick up and hand a train filled with goods to your partners playing in this timed cooperative rail train game it looks fascinating. I am really looking forward to trying this one out. I'll admit, my wife is not because she doesn't like dexterity games. She doesn't like real-time games. And she doesn't really like cooperative games. So this will be an interesting one to try to sell her on. I'm looking forward to doing that, though. So again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop, Mo Tuzano. You can find me all over the internet 
as Tabletop Bellhop one word. You can find my webpage, tabletopbellhop.com. If you dig this video, you can tip the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Now, we do normally answer your gaming and game night questions, and you can learn all about the questions people have asked and our answers on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. If you do have a question for us, you can send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. That's it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me as we took a look inside the box for Rail Pass. Good night and game on.